Welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to get to uh, and flag for Fire on Thunder Peak and Temple of Deathworm raids. And I'm starting off here in the north east of Evening Star going across the bridge. If you haven't played in a while, uh, the landscape here has changed a little bit. Stormhorns used to be at the beginning of the bridge and you couldn't go across it, but the entrance to Stormhorns is right over there now. We're going to go to the Thunder Peaks. And doing this video on request, I'm happy to do videos on request. Feel free to respond to my videos or uh, send me a tell on Sarlona. If you want to request the video, first thing you want to do is talk to these guys here, Vaklos and Thela. And uh, then you're going to come up here and you're going into the ruins of Thunderhome. This is kind of a neat slayer area, and it is a raid zone, and so if you get a group of 12 out here, and you get you know your 200% slayer pot going, you can get slayers built up really fast, and it's actually a really good XP. It can be kind of confusing if you're new to it. Um, there is some good uh, pathing maps right on Wiki. had a lot of positive feedback for my wolf combat video and my epic mob kiting video. We really appreciate hearing from you guys. Come around up here, go up these steps, and make a left. And the first guy, the, it, it's just two rares that you need to kill out here, and they're always up. Um, so you just need to kill both of them to flag for the raids. Um, this guy right here, you kill him and he's going to flag you for fire on Thunder Peak. This guy's not too bad. Um, the next one is pretty tough. But there are a couple tricks I'm going to show you for the next one that uh, you should be able to solo with no problem on pretty much any tune. It might take you a little while, but you can do it. So he's quick and easy to get to. Uh, the next one's a little deeper in. And we're just going to jump. 
jump down here and turn right around. And this is that same, we already came through this room once, we came through that hallway, and we went up those stairs to get to that first guy. But now we're going to come down here. And this, this Slayer area, the Runes of Thunder home, is like a lot of mini Slayer zones. You know, you're going to go up and down, and, and, and there's like maybe six different, seven different little maps like this one. So that's one of the things that can make it a little bit confusing if you're new to it. So if you watch as I go down here, it's the map is going to change, even though we're not actually zoning. You see, it's a different map now. It's a pretty small map. Oops, I'm not in standing against the tide, and I got knocked down. Been using um, bigger battle stands for the new raid, Mark of Death, because there's nothing in there that knocks you down, and you know the extra hit points are are really nice to have in there. We're just going down right here on the map. over to these steps right here on the map. And now we're going down into the Thunder Forge. And you can see we just went to a different uh, map again, but we didn't actually zone, per se. The mobs can follow us right down. I'm going to switch to water elemental form, because there's fire creatures down here, and the cold spells are going to tear them up. And this straight ahead is the Thunder Forge. This is where you're going to craft your armor and uh, your weapons, your uh, Shadow Dragon Scale armor and your Thunder Forge weapons. And so you want to click on the Magma Forge if it's your first time here. And once you do that, it'll allow you to um, teleport right here by talking to the person at the gate. The entrance to the Slayer Zone. And if you're not aware, you can actually craft, fully craft your armor with unbound ingredients. In fact, you never even have to run the raid to craft your fully upgraded armor. And again, I'm talking about like the Shadow Dragon Scale armor, like you see that I have here. This is the heavy version. It gives 30 uh, DR, 60 DR if you're below 75% health. It's pretty awesome. Um, the only bound ingredients you need to craft the armor uh, is your uh, accommodations of he heroism and you can easily farm those from any epic quest uh, and also you can craft the weapon up to tier 2 with unbound ingredients also with the exception of the accommodations of valor um, but tier 3 you do need the the flow just ends, which come from the raids and you need 30 of them to get up to tier 3 and, and so that's kind of a grind but the tier 3 abilities are so awesome but the tier 1 and 2 abilities are also really awesome so totally worth using a uh, tier 1 or tier 2 thunder, well, tier 2 thunderforge weapon. So 
come along here and there's going to be a simple mirror puzzle that we have to do to open up the door to get to <clears throat> the next, uh, well, that door down there. And that'll uh, open the way to the next area and so that we can flag, uh, get to the, uh, to the red name. And so here we need to you know, guide this laser using these mirrors to the relay crystal at the other end. And by the way, these helm horrors, if you're new to them, um, they're kind of a tricky mob because they use different elemental attacks, and whatever elemental attack they're using, they're immune to that. You can see he's using fire attacks on me, so if I use fire against him, they're not immune, he's actually healed by fire, so you want to be very careful what element you're using. So hit him with some cold, but they actually change like every, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. So you can, if you watch him, you're going to see he's going to use a different element here in a minute if he doesn't die from my dots. But basically, you can use any element on him other than the one he's doing damage with. So you're going to use uh, just simple physics here. You, know, you, you just click on the mirror to rotate it, and it, it's an 8 position mirror. You want to make sure that you're not standing in the light because that will kill you. You can move through it. But I recommend jumping over it because if you lag out, if you lag even for a moment there, it can, it'll kill you. <clears throat> Make sure you're not standing in it when it <laughs> when it uh, angles the the laser. And there are six of these mirror puzzles in the raid. Um, they're a little more complex than this one, but they're pretty easy to figure out. Sometimes you're going to angle these mirrors and it doesn't want to bounce the beam. If that happens, oh, I was standing in it. I'm lucky I didn't die right there. Uh, I must have been off by a couple pixels. Um, but uh, it doesn't want to relay the laser sometimes, so if you see that happen, just turn it around again it'll, and it should be fine. Uh, if you still have problems, then you're going to want to just rotate the starting laser around. And then there's the relay crystal that we need to guide the light to. Alright, and then that opens up the way. This door's open now. Sometimes they're rare down here. Yep. There's one right there. But that's not the one we want. You got a shrine right here, and um, if this rare is giving you a hard time, oops. Um, when you pull it back, you can actually jump down onto these buildings and just perch up here, or you can kite it up and down these steps here. But you want to pull the mob, the the red name, back here because if she kills you, you can just run back up to that shrine at the top of the steps. So here's the other red name that we need to kill, and this one's going to flag you for Temple of the Deathworm. And she does um, Dragon Breath attacks, and she does, I think, all different elements. So you really want to stay away from her. Um, if she breathes on you, she does a lot of damage. She can one-shot you. Uh, best to equip a Spell Absorption item, like a Pale Lavender Iron Stone, or your Jeweled Cloak, Mantle the World Shaper. At, uh, Fier Epic Fjarlin, Maricloak, Mage Star. She's got a lot of hit points too, just like the other guy.
Now I'm going to let her hit me with the dragon breath just so you can see how much damage she's doing. Oh, she got bored of me. Doesn't seem to be doing too much damage to me. Maybe they toned it down. Yeah, they must have really toned it down. She used to do like a thousand damage. And that's it. All you gotta do is kill those two, and um, she can drop some name loot in her chest here. So you can see this guy, well, he just switched from cold to fire. So again, you want to make sure you're not using the element that he is attacking you with. I'll show you one more thing. I'm going to recall out. By the way, the, uh, the entrance to the Temple of the Deathworm Raid was just, just to the side there. But you can teleport directly there. Um, after you kill those two guys, you're going to want to talk to these two guys again. They'll grant you the raid. And then once you've done that and, and you've clicked on the Magma Forge, then you can talk to Ingrith here and she can teleport you directly to all of your destinations. So Aglaras's lair is Temple of the Deathworm, Mountain Summit is Fire on Thunder Peak, and the Forge is the Magma Forge, where you want to make your armor and your Thunder Forge weapon. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions about my videos, you can respond on YouTube. And uh, if you have any questions about my build, you can respond on my DDO forum post. Or if you happen to be on Sarlona, you're more than welcome to send me a tell.